What is going on, Alpha Hunters? Hope everybody is having a very terrific Thursday. It is Thursday, and this is kind of what we got going on in the market today. Obviously, we had a very nice little run up towards the end of the day yesterday. It was a very strong bullish day yesterday uh, after we got the CPI data. Uh, not really a big gap here today. Uh, we had a little bit of volatility even pre market because jobs data. Uh, did come out a little weak. Let's see. Let's just take a look at job data right now. So we got initial jobless claims at 222k. Forecast is calling for 220k. Prior month was at 232, which the one last month at 232k, that was quite a bit higher than what the forecast is calling for. I think the forecast was last month. I believe it was calling for like 216. So they even you know, raised the forecast for this month up to 220, and then we even still came in higher than that. So, yeah, all right. I mean, we'll see if, you know, the labor market holds up here over the next, you know, few months or whatnot. Uh, but, yeah, probably pretty flat open here. If you want to take a look and see kind of just what happened pre-market, eh, we had a little bit of volatility there. Nice little pull down, and then we kind of bounced there. Uh, was that roughly 15 minutes before the market opened? So, yeah, there there was some volatility there. It wasn't it wasn't crazy? Uh, nice little sideways move here. A little bit of a quick pullback, and then kind of bounced. Uh, nice little run up. Uh, first hour and a half of the day, looking pretty good there. A little bit of double top. Slowly been kind of pulling back. Nice little drop here. We had about 40 minutes ago, and then it looks like we have a little sideways, a little double bottom action going here. I, this to me this looks more of like a sideways pattern but you know we'll see we'll see what happens uh, we did trade down to the daily lows about 15 20 minutes ago so we'll see if we continue to do any kind of selling on the market today Q's Q's not too much indifferent uh, Q's currently at 0.1 percent spies kind of flat it's barely positive not really doing a whole lot there and yeah, I mean that's I mean that's the key. It's not really too much indifferent of the SPY. IWM though, on the other hand, nice little lower open here. Nice little gap down, kind of choppy throughout the day. A little bit of that that's drawdown that we had about 40 minutes ago. Uh, looks a little bit stronger here over the past 40 minutes, but it's been definitely the weaker one of the day. Currently down about half a percent. So that's the IWM, the DIA. Nice little gap up, pullback, neutral line. Moving averages and then took off. Yep, nice little run there for about an hour or so, a little bit over an hour on that little run. A little bit of double top here. It's steadily been pulling back since. Not back down to the daily lows, but you know, it is it is making its way down there. DIA actually doing the best on the day. Currently at 0.13%. RSP, a little bit of a higher open. Sold off there the first 10 minutes. Then bounce, daily highs, kind of a flat top up here. And then, yeah, we got that drop about 40 minutes ago. Sideways here over the past 40 minutes. So, uh, yeah, kind of a weird flat top. Even kind of a head and shoulders type look to it. You know, shoulder, neck, head, neck, shoulder, breakdown. Kind of retested right there into that neckline. So, we'll see if we can break that head and shoulders pattern down. It's kind of a funky one because it's a little bit more flatter up here, more of a sideways one, but uh, yeah, there you go. Other than that, see how the daily picture's kind of looking. Yeah, a nice little doji today. Nothing kind of crazy going on there with the RSP. DIA, throwing a pretty large upper wick there. Kind of talked about that yesterday on the live stream. Hey, now is not the time to be bullish. I mean, we, we were pretty extended going into yesterday. Wasn't going to be a surprise if we saw a little bit of a pullback on, on Thursday if we got somewhat bad uh, inflation data. But, you know, we, we had good inflation data. Market popped. Still wouldn't want to be bullish right here. Wait for some pullbacks. Get some support levels. Get the moving averages to come up in your favor. And then look to be bullish on any kind of dips and stuff like that. IWM uh, looks like it might be doing its pullback thing. It looks somewhat decent. Uh, I know we're getting through this 205, 206 area. Still got to clear these highs before it can really kind of run. Q's. Yep, got a little bit of an upper wick there. We'll see if we bounce by the end of the day. 
I would still be looking for the pullback and just be bull, people bullish off of that. SPY, currently flat, a little bit of an upper wick. I'd be looking for the pullback. Probably happens early next week. Probably want to be bullish. Going into the second half of next week, definitely. All right, take a look at the VIX, the VIX. Uh, we did take out that March low this morning there on the VIX. Barely, just barely taking out that wick. So that was the lowest. Today we did get the lowest point of the year on the VIX. Just barely, barely. Just below this January 11th low. Okay. So that's uh, that's kind of where the VIX is at. It has really dropped off quite substantially since that mid-April move. Dollar bounce on the here a little bit today. Okay. Uh, where's the long-term moving averages? I was sitting right on top of those long-term moving averages. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, the most important thing to know, if we see yields and dollar probably rally, here's a look at gold. Gold's looking good. Probably going to be in an up uptrend now. But if we see yields and gold, uh, yields and dollar probably rally here, which they might decouple, it's possible. But if we see yields especially rally here with inflation data that we just, you know, over the past day since Wednesday morning, we saw inflation data really kind of drop off. I and we see yields rise, that to me would be a, a bigger deal because that just tells you investors are actually pushing yields higher by selling uh, treasuries. And that could be uh, a big deal. Uh, anyways, yeah, we got yields. I'm trying to bounce off these two highs. We'll see if that kind of holds here over the next... Uh, couple days uh bouncing off of that 200 moving average also right there so yeah I mean, we'll have to see if that kind of holds there over the next couple days obviously we've had a pretty strong breakdown to start the month of may on the yield side 10 to inversion nice little pull down today okay still just chopping sideways hyg high yield corporate bonds uh made a run to this level and has rejected so far all right, LQD also rejecting off of that level of that downtrend line. Okay, so uh, it kind of makes sense that it at least pauses there. Maybe pauses, comes down, finds some support for moving averages and move higher. Uh, even on the TLT makes sense. So yeah, I mean, kind of makes sense that we at least see a little bit of a, a hesitation there. We kind of went from the lower ends of, the, of this channel, at least here on the TLT, to kind of the upper ends in roughly like two weeks. So makes sense that we have a little bit of a pause here. And then taking a look at sector rotation for the day. That's very interesting. Um, Staples doing pretty good. I thought they would have been doing good yesterday, right? We kind of talked about that uh, with inflation. Well, I guess we kind of talked about that scenario Tuesday. And then was kind of shocked that staples weren't doing all that great yesterday because inflation is actually CPI inflation data came down a little bit. And I was surprised that staples weren't doing all that great, but there they go. They, uh, they bounced back pretty good today. They are looking real solid. Okay. Staples up substantially. Utilities also outperforming real estate financials outperforming in line with the market. Healthcare, communications, tech, all there in line with the market. Okay. And then energies, discretionaries, industrials, and materials underperforming for the day. Intraday, though. Yep. Staples. You see a lot of buying coming in there on staples during the day. Communications, real estate, utilities, and healthcare all positive or outperforming there during the day. Financials, tech, discretionaries, energies, industrials, and materials all underperforming. 